I've had requests over the years to do an updated studio tour, so here you go. Tour is finished. That's a joke. I'm moving, and so in this sort of vlog style video, I'm going to take you through the process of the studio update. Today is Tuesday, and I move Friday. So um, I have a few days left to finish packing up. As you can see, the room is uh, getting torn down. So if you have ever wondered where I make all these videos at Worship Tutorials, uh, I'm just in a spare bedroom in my house. And now you can see when the lens is wide, wide, it's not that big of a, of a room. And it's actually uh, been too small for a long, long time. I've lived in this house that we're in about four years, which is honestly my wife and I wanted to be here a lot longer. That was our initial plan. But as Worship Tutorials has grown, um, as I have included people like Fuller and Bradford uh, a lot more in the content, and it's become the three of us rather than just me, which is a very good thing, uh, it's sort of really outgrown this space really quickly. We found a house in our current neighborhood that is pretty much perfect for us. So the new place has like a bonus room loft kind of a thing above the garage. It is a little more than twice as big as this room is right now. One thing I'd like to do throughout this video is maybe give you some ideas or inspire you in some ways if you're looking to create a space where you can create content. Because I think the more people that we have creating high quality content, the better it is for all of us in the praise and worship, guitar, gear, worship leader community. I think that's a good thing. So something I have been asked about a lot are these wood panels. Now I'm gonna show you what these things are. I built this myself. Is the frame wide enough? Yeah, I think it's almost all in there. This is a two foot by four foot panel. So what I did was the audio in this room is different because they're not all on the walls anymore. It's way more reflective. These things actually do a good job. I'm going to link below some of the things that I use to build this. So there is Owens Corning, uh, you know, acoustic uh, paneling inside of here. You can just buy in bulk. You can get them in two foot by four foot sheets. And then I just went to the hardware or went to Lowe's or whatever and bought some... Uh, I think it's one by two inch, uh, you know, boards basically, just pieces of wood. Screwed them together to make a simple two foot by four foot frame. There is, on some of these, uh, I found that it's best, I have some cardboard, just some scrap cardboard that I use to sort of just staple to the back, you know? And then I bought um, some fabric, and this fabric is actually like in a sleeve. So it's about two feet wide, and it's as long as you want it, and it's like it's like a sock, basically. And you just put your frame with the, uh, now this, this sound insulation stuff, it's like fiber, so it, it's, it, it, you know, you don't want to touch it with your bare hands um, because it, it, it'll itch. So uh, it irritates the skin. And so, yeah, that's all I did. And then I just stapled this all closed, and then to mount them, you can buy these little, I think they call them Z clamps. So this is what would go on the wall. It would stick on the wall like this. And as you can see, it's like got a little uh, edge that comes out. And then this is what you state. You, you screw onto the board right here. You see it's got an edge that comes in. And then when you put it together, it locks. And so it just hangs. And these things are great because they'll, these, these are really lightweight. They don't weigh much at all. So, um, yeah, they're cheap, so you can buy, basically you can buy this as a finished product. Uh, and they're not terribly expensive, but you can make them for way cheaper. So the guitar hangers for the wall were these Hercules hangers. They're great, cheap, though they're not terribly expensive. They can hold a ton of weight. Drill them into studs if you can. That's how I set all that up the panels and the guitars on the wall. You gonna come pack all my We're stuff, Fuller? Uh, I am going to pack as much as you need up to one box. Check it out. I'm still getting gear in, by the way. Trying to move my house. Oh, uh, this just came? Yeah, I came in the other day. This is a cloud lifter. Who Anyone who has an SM7B probably knows what this is. I have an SM7B. I've never used a cloud lifter. I have had so many questions about uh, people asking me. People ask me about Do you use video? a cloud lifter? And I s never have, but I bought one. Uh, LA told me about this. Yeah, he swears by he it. He has one. I haven't used it ever, and now's not the time. <laughs> but one day, we'll figure it out. Fuller, I need to show you what I need to store at your house. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. Cats and guitars, people. That's, That's the right. content people are coming for. That's right. Here they are. 
Wow. Every guitar that I own in this That's room. That's crazy. What would you guys think a good fee for storing all these guitars is? They're in the, I'm thinking... They're in the future, by the way. This Elliot. will have already happened. <laughs> I don't have access to an Elliot. Okay, well... I'm no Bradford Mitchell. We're gonna go... Jennings. Okay. Yeah, that'll be the story. You know what I should do though? Three guitars, people. While I have these guitars, Brian, yes. I should make a recording with every single one of these <laughs> guitars on it. Can you do it in one day? Probably. I oh would, yeah, definitely. I would love. I mean, it would take me two hours just to open each one and take <laughs> it out. One other thing I wanted to show you guys, um, when it comes to creating content, lighting is probably the most important thing for her. People always assume Even success. more important than content. <laughs> no, not. The content is the most important. You gotta have something worth Content making, is right? Lighting is key. But people always obsess over the latest lenses, the latest cameras, mostly the latest cameras. The other thing is, lenses uh, have, make more, have more to do with the final look of the image than the camera does, by the way. But lighting is key. And then audio. Audio and lighting are both more important than the actual, cam uh, actual camera that you use. And I want to show you the light that I use because I get a lot of questions on it. It's the Aperture 120D. Fuller's holding it like a weapon. It also looks like the bat signal. <laughs> Where's Batman? There it is. That is at... The Joker's on the wild. That is at 60% brightness. And you probably can't tell, but it's basically the sun. It's just blowing, <laughs> the, it's blowing the camera out. But that That's is the awesome. Aperture. The thing about this light is, this is the light. It's just this thing right here. And then the big old... And then this... Like a diffuser. The dome... That's called the Aperture Light Dome, as you can see. Light yeah, I can dome. see in there. So, light me, Fuller. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. This is beautiful lighting. So, the thing about, and if you notice, I mean, this is like a lighting tutorial. If you notice how soft this light is, it is literally right here. Like, I can touch it with my hand. It's the LED. Yet, right? it's so soft. It's soft because of this huge dome. So, the more, the larger the light source, the softer it is. Yeah, it's okay. diffusion, right? Yeah, and the more diffused it is, the more pleasing it looks. So really, you can't um, you can't really fake size in this case. So um, the size of the light source and the level of diffusion is important, which is kind of a bummer for people in small spaces. Now this is a light that I use a lot. This Not is the. In. This is a flapjack by um, like literally like hard photodiox flapjack. Plastic. So the way, way this works is there are LEDs all the way around the ring, but they all point in and to, then they and then it, they get yeah. diffused and come out. Cool. So those are pretty diffused, but they don't look nearly as good as the aperture. So what I use is the aperture 120D is my main light, and then I use these uh, flapjacks flapjack. as. Um, sort of auxiliary lights like I use. So what the basic three point light setup is a key light coming from one side, a fill light that's not as strong coming from the other, and then a light coming from behind to separate you from the background. And so I use the, the 120D as my key, and then I use these, uh, the flapjack lights for my fill and back, or sometimes they call it a hair light. And the reason they call it a hair light is it lights, see look, I'm using, I'm using that can light as a hair light. You see how it kind of like illuminates the back of my head? Like a comic book superhero. And separates me from the background behind me. All right, I got a pack fuller. We're out. This was WTHQ version four, I believe. Look at that, no more boxes. All I had to do now is a little touch up paint on the walls. And I'm done. And the next step is move into WTHQ version five. So today is Monday. We moved in Friday. Today is the first day I actually have been up in this studio space. And uh, mostly I've been working on this wall behind me, which will be sort of the feature wall for video content. This is where that big panel that I'm working on, stuff is in the garage downstairs, will go in front of that window, which I've blocked out um, with just some film that you can get. I got it on Amazon. Moving along, lots of unpacking to do. Oh, Full, here, here's Fuller and I trying to look as manly as possible. We're like a bunch of I have, I have a level. Now we did actually with our uh, man skills, build this panel. This so is the base. I put the, uh, I put the, the two by four sort of frame behind it, and then 
I had some flimsy pieces of plywood up there this today. I did it last night. I was up till 1.30 in the morning, Fuller. Yeah, I know. And Fuller was like, no, that's not what you want. So <laughs> we got some good stuff. That's right. So the, uh, you know, honestly, we could paint this. You could. Just and this would yeah. look legit. Yeah, it would. Um, and what I'm going to do is install LED light strips behind it mm -hmm. on the sides. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put uh, wood slats right. on the front. So today is Saturday. We've been in this house now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight days, Seth. <laughs> I got Seth with me up here. The studio is pretty much set. I just put in some more lighting. So I have my main key video light. I've got some light behind me. So this is like a two light setup with a key light here and just a backlight or a hair light behind me. I'll do a full like studio walkthrough in another video, um, but this is sort of the, the transition vlog, I guess you will. But I wanted to give you guys like a, <clears throat> you know, like a, a, a more produced looking shot. This isn't the camera that I typically use in here. Um, but this is what it'll look like. Let me show you what, what I did. Seth. What? How do you like this house? It's awesome! We're almost to the, well, we are to the point where I can make some content, but um, I'm gonna show you around a little bit. As you can see over here, I have the editing desk set up. This is the same as it was in my last place. It's just, actually I haven't moved some things around, but I haven't really had anything different. Over to the other side, I have uh, a TV, which I use as a confidence monitor. Uh, so I put, you know, lyrics and chords. I'm not gonna go through too much of this stuff because <laughs> Because I'm going to do a, a more legit uh, studio walkthrough once I get everything ready. So you can see there's still a lot of stuff everywhere. Seth over here tells me that he wants to be a YouTuber one day. Is that correct, Seth? Yeah. What would your channel be about? Fun stuff. Like what kind of fun stuff? I'm not telling you guys. It's a secret. You're going to have to subscribe to him when it comes out. Comment down below when you see it. He says comment below when you see it. Okay. This is like the feature wall that I built. This is what it looks like. Uh, I have a bunch of lighting on the top that I don't know if I'm gonna keep. Uh, we put some guitars over here and some sound paneling up. So the idea with this part of the room is I can put some lighting over here and have a more neutral background if I want it. So it would just give me another look in a video and it's just adjacent to this wall. Of course, this will be where like all the main videos are. Some lighting here, this is the Aperture 120D. I'll go through all this again. This place over here where Seth is hanging out is like this window seat. My idea here is to make this more of like a, um, like a living room kind of a look, something a little more casual. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet with this. There's a lot of light coming through that window, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to, how to treat that and decorate this. But this could be like, you know, live videos, talking head videos, as well as over here. But you get the idea. So I uh, might do just a few more little updates uh, on the sort of the upfit in this video, but um, it's, it's, getting, it's getting real close. I have a few more pieces of furniture that are gonna go over here where this McPherson is. Um, I have like a patch bay type of a cabinet that's gonna go over here to do way better cable management than I've ever had available to me before. So that'll go in, but that's not, it's not gonna be ready for like a couple months. So in the meantime, just gonna do what we've always done here at Worship Tutorials. And uh, the content is gonna start coming. You're gonna start seeing this soon. And then we're gonna have a, like a full legit studio walkthrough when this room is cleaned up and ready. Coming soon.